1957, for his last full season in motor racing, Fangio returned to Maserati, the mark with which he had started his rise to fame. And at Modena Autodrome, he tests the car. Over the years, the racing car has changed, and the necessity for the sensitive and precise handling of the faster, lighter Grand Prix cars of the post-war era emphasized the need for a more subtle and controlled driving technique. Fangio, with his iron self-control and uncanny skill, met this demand with contemptuous ease to set a style that raised the art of racing driving to the height of a new science. Twenty years earlier, in 1937, that great French driver Jean-Pierre Vimille, then at the height of his fame, said of Fangio, I have seen at Buenos Aires a brilliant new driver. The day he has a real racing car to drive, he will perform miracles. The truth of that old prophecy is here for us to see.